This is John Wilde here to give you a look at Six Million Dollar Man Toys by Kenner. This time we will look at the Bionic Woman action figure, first edition, first revised edition, and second edition. The Bionic Woman was created by Kenneth Johnson for the Six Million Dollar Man TV show. Her first appearance was in the second season premiere of the Six Million Dollar Man show in 1974. The episode entitled The Bionic Woman told of Steve Austin's return home to OI, California to visit his mother and his stepfather. There Steve rekindles his relationship with Jamie Summers, played by Lindsay Wagner, who is a tennis pro whom he once shared a romance with. They fall quickly back in love, and Steve even tells Jamie of his accident and the bionic implants that have changed his life. Then on a skydiving outing with Steve, there's an accident and Jamie's parachute fails to properly open. Jamie Summers is gravely injured. Steve goes to his friend and boss Oscar Goldman of the Office of Scientific Intelligence and asks him for Jamie's life to be saved by the use of bionics. Oscar reluctantly agrees on the condition that the United States investment is rewarded by Jamie becoming a bionic super agent of the OSI. The operation is a success and Jamie Summers has bionic powers. Like Steve Austin, Jamie has two bionic legs and a bionic right arm, but unlike Steve, she has a bionic ear. Her bionic ear allows Jamie to listen in to conversations over a hundred yards away. When it is time for Jamie Summers' first mission for Oscar Goldman and the OSI, Steve is concerned of the dangers that she will face and asked Oscar to forget using her as a bionic super agent. But Jamie completes her mission successfully, but something begins to go wrong. Jamie's body is rejecting the bionic implants, and the effects are causing her to lose her mind. In the end of this two-part season premiere, Jamie Summers succumbs to her illness and passes away, or so we are led to think. The popularity of these $6 million man shows caused a flood of letters to be received by Universal City Studios. There was only one way to appease the audience that fell in love with Lindsay Wagner, bring the bionic woman back from the dead. But Lindsay Wagner was no longer under contract with Universal, so the negotiations began. Lindsay reluctantly would return to the Six Million Dollar Man show and then would gain her own one-hour weekly television show beginning mid-season in 1976. The Bionic Woman program ran from 1976 to 1978 and switched networks in the last season from ABC to NBC. Oscar Goldman, Dr. Rudy Wells, and occasionally Steve Austin would appear on the Bionic Woman program. The addition of the Bionic Dog Maximilian rounded out the cast of the show. Differing from the Six Million Dollar Man show, Jamie never used physical violence towards her enemies and used her skills in a variety of both super spy work and her new profession as an elementary school teacher. The fan favorite villains of the Bionic Woman were the Fembots, who also gained an action figure in the Kenner toy line. Speaking of the Kenner toy line, let's get a closer look at the Bionic Woman figure first edition. Kenner Toys began to make the Bionic Woman figure immediately after the new show hit the airwaves. Targeted for little girls, Kenner now had a commanding share of the toy market in 1976. The $6 million man figure for boys and the Bionic Woman doll for girls. The Bionic Woman figure has a first release, a first revised release, and a repackaged second release. The difference between the first two releases was eye color. The first release has blue eyes, but Lindsay Wagner had brown eyes, so a corrected first version was made. The figure stands 12 and a half inches tall and has blonde hair, and like the $6 million man figure, is packed with action features. Like the Steve Austin figure, the Bionic Woman figure has a right arm, which has a fake arm skin to hide her bionic modules. But unlike the Bionic Man figure, there is no lifting action to the right arm. In the Bionic Woman's legs, accessed by the side flaps on the jogging pant, are the Bionic Leg Modules that can be removed. The unique feature of the Bionic Woman figure was Bionic Hearing Sound. When the head was rotated, a clicking sound was made, simulating the TV show's sound effects. The Bionic Woman figure came with the following accessories, track shoes, navy jogging pants, and a white jogging top. The Bionic Woman figure has many additional accessories that could also be purchased, 
from a Bionic Beauty Salon, clothing assortments, and a sports car. The Bionic Dog Maximilian was never produced. Here's a look at a box example of the second version of the Bionic Woman figure. Let's take a look at the packaging. The second edition is the exact same as the first revised edition with new blue jumpsuit. Mission purse that included a comb, brush, mirror, pretend cosmetics and cosmetic case, billfold, picture of Oscar, pretend credit cards, bionic bucks, map and map case, code and code case. This was produced to give more play value to the figure and to improve slumping toy sales. By 1978 the bionic craze had run its course and the Bionic Woman toy line was canceled by Kenner along with the six million dollar man toys. The Bionic Woman figure is easily found in the aftermarket, but complete examples with good hair and intact arm skin are hard to come by. When looking to find accessories for the Bionic Woman figure, collectors can have good luck by going to doll shows and sorting through Mattel Barbie lots. The Bionic Woman figure was Kenner's toy's answer to breaking into the girls toy market domin dominated by Mattel's Barbie. The television show was not a clone of the $6 million man, but a unique experience that was as popular, if not more, than its predecessor. Lindy Wagner's insistence on a non-violent, thought-provoking, heartwarming adventure show was anything like before or since. The 2008 reboot did not live up to what has been done in the past, and lasted only one season. I would like to thank you for viewing this look at the Bionic Woman figure from Kenner Toys. Please check out my other videos on Kenner Six Million Dollar Man action figures and accessory. Please subscribe to catch my latest uploads and leave your questions and comments. Until next time, we can rebuild him.